tradition in shipbuilding and high unemployment rates. Herr Präsident, meine Damen und Herren. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, last week the representatives of the European Parliament and the National Parliament met in Vilnius in order to talk about the common defense and security policy. And I hope that what is happening this afternoon is also happening in all national parliaments so that the European awareness and national awareness of the need of a common defense and security policy is raised. We can't do it on our own. All the member states of the European Union have the same problems, not enough staff, not enough money, not enough efficiency, and what's more, not enough credibility. And on those, for those reasons, the answer can only be to unite our forces in order to carry out our tasks. And today the Commission President spoke about the aim of political union in his State of the Union speech, and he said it quite clearly. Then we have to say that you can't have a credible political union without previously having a defense and security union which is why we demand that the European Defence Agency for all the savings measures and efficiency raising measures must coordinate national armed forces. That's why and we also must have a European procurement agency and the next commission must have a single a special commissioner for defense and security who can also who can also coordinate our international missions thank you very much mr plankovic in one and a half minutes thank you very much mr president first of all i would like to congratulate our rapporteurs and I will uh, say something about uh, Ms. Yanaka's report uh, where she talks about